Well, hello everyone, this is Dr. Nikolai Gugundersen, reporting live from lockdown. Behind me is a wonderful photo of Istanbul that I took on my last trip there, which I believe was in November 2019. I miss Turkey very much. So those of you who know me know that I'm a cultural and political analyst. Uh, I traveled across the Middle East. I've lived in Jordan, Kuwait, and Turkey, of course. And one of the things I enjoyed doing very much is cultural analysis and getting to know Middle Eastern culture is much better. Today, we're going to talk about Ottoman-inspired jewelry that I came across while I was living in Turkey with my wife. And more specifically, I'm going to introduce you all to a brand called Altan Bosch, who have a beautiful ring in the shape of a turban that honors an Ottoman architect called Muammar Sainan or Maimar Sainan. So, Maimar Sainan was an Ottoman architect and civil engineer. He worked for three sultans, including Suleiman the Magnificent. So he's very famous. I think the Turks are very proud of him. And uh, there's even a university of art named after him in Istanbul itself. So in honor of him, it seems, Altan Bash, a Turkish jeweler, have created this ring which is in 14 karat gold with a zircon. And I want to talk a bit about the ring as well and discuss what I find so unique about it and what uh, it's been like to, to own it. So here is the ring itself. It's in a, it comes in a presentation box by Alton Bosch, very simple. Uh, very nice piece. It's in the shape of a turban, which emulates the turban is worn by many Ottomans during the Ottoman period. Wearing a turban was seen as a privilege, uh, a symbol, I think, of the elite, and Maimar Sainan was certainly a member of the Ottoman elite. So the stone here is hand faceted zircon. Very, very nice, and as you can tell, the gold, it's 14 karat yellow gold, but it has been uh, paled, so it has a bit of an antique look, along with, of course, darkened edges to further emulate the look of a turban. Very beautiful. The side of the ring features very small zircon stones. Uh, these stones, along with the main stone, have been blackened through heat treatment. So it is not, you know, an incredibly expensive piece, but it is certainly a unique piece and one that I'm very, very glad that I was able to purchase. Uh, when I went to the store in Istanbul, there weren't a lot of, of rings for men. Uh, this is the only copy they had of this particular piece, and it's, as far as I'm aware, it's made to order. Absolutely stunning. I love it. Finally, on the inside of the ring, we have a depiction of Suleymaniye Mosque in Turkey. So, this is a piece, or rather, a building that Maimai Sainan constructed during his lifetime. He ended up constructing and planning hundreds of buildings, including uh, the mosque of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and I believe his also his burial chambers if you like so he was a very very well-known architect and I think the fact that a Turkish jeweler has a piece committed to his memory shows how popular a figure he remains to this day So what's it like to wear this particular piece? It's a heavy ring. It's unusual. Uh, I've never seen anything like it and I'm very happy with it. Very happy with this particular piece by Alton Bosch. It's an interesting tribute to Ottoman history and a reminder of my travels to Turkey. I love it. So that is all from me uh, for this little review. But I hope to do more reviews of Turkish jewelry in the future, and I certainly hope to travel back to the Middle East very, very soon. I miss it so much. It's a wonderful part of the world. So uh, when the lockdown is over, hopefully after a while we'll all get to travel again and continue exploring other cultures. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Nikolai Dugandersen.